Okay, so now I'm ready to piece the final corner unit. So we have the plain square, we have the half square triangles. I piece these together, I press towards the square and then towards the mint half square triangle. And now we just have to get these two units together. So if I was to just piece these together, there's about a 50-50 chance that these two points here are going to match if I just turn this over right sides together and sewed that seam. And I don't really like to leave that to chance. So I really want to pin these to make sure that when I open this up, these two points match. So I call that precision pinning. And I'm going to show you how to do that so that you can make sure that your points match also. So the first key is to use the right pins. So these pins that you see right here are the pins that normally come with these magnetic holders. And they're a little bit too thick for um, what I like to use for precision pinning. I like to use a finer pin. So these pins that I use are fine quilting pins and they're by Clover. We have them at the shop and I love these. I also love the pins by Karen K. Buckley. They're a very, very fine pin. They bend really easily, but they're really, really good for precision pinning and you can sew through them. They won't ruin your needle on your machine. So they're really terrific also. So I'll use these because you'll be able to see them on the camera a little bit easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is on the first piece that I have upside down is I'm going to pin right through that intersection that I can see on this side and I look through it on here to make sure I get it through the intersection. And then I'm also going to pin through on this intersection. So I have both intersections that I want to touch when I'm sewing pin through and then I'm going to press them really snug together and hold that pin perpendicular. So in order to make sure that they're going to meet I have to hold them on each side with the pin. So on the right side of that pin that I'm holding perpendicular and I'll put it in the light here a little better I'm going to go below that pin and kind of just make basically a pin stitch on this side to hold it, on the right side, and then a pin stitch on the left side to hold it. So I have this pinned and my pin is still sitting perpendicular and then I'm ready to sew. So I'll put it under my machine, I'm trying to get those seams lined up. And that pin is just kind of sitting out there. I'll pull it up a little bit so that it's not sitting so cockeyed and I'll sew it through. And then I just kind of have to see where my machine will line up. And then I'm holding the pin out so that when my needle gets close, right before I get to that hole, I'll pull my pin out. So I've pulled my pin out and it will go right into the hole and then I'll finish sewing. And then hopefully if it worked out correctly, when I pull these pins, and the other nice thing about this, when I, because I've made this little gap under the fabric, it's enough like kind of air gap that my needle will slide right over there and it won't snap on these two pins. And I do sew, sew rather slowly over the top of them. And then I'll pull that out and hopefully it has a nice little meat right there.